I, ne I didn't like him in Zestaria. I sure as heck don't like him in this game. He's just... Ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, I don't have any cat. I don't have no cat spirits. This is the darkest timeline. <laughs> I hate everything right now. I'm not grinding them. <laughs> Definitely not grinding cat spirits. Just so I can stick my hands in a cat box. You know, I liked Zestiria characters. I did not like Zestiria equipment and uh, freaking skill systems, man. I just, oh, having to level up your gear every time you get a new piece. It's like, oh, but this leather helmet is level 89. If I unequip it, I'll lose 500 defense to equip the prismatic rainbow helmet of ultimate evil destruction. Guess I'll have to spend 500 hours leveling it up. <sighs> have I tried Waff? Somebody educate this poor fool about the Final Fantasy Fiesta. And how much of a gigantic Final Fantasy fan I am. <laughs> I don't get it. Get what? Why did Eifried let Aizen join a ship, knowing he carried the Reaper's curse with him? What good did it do? I just don't see the reason behind it. Well, if it were me who had that curse, I'm just teasing. Yes, many times. Could die I just finished it, playing right? it like two weeks yeah, ago again. I suppose so. If that's the case, then I'd feel like I'd both want to and not want to be close to you two, and I'd probably really, really hate myself for it. Do you suppose <laughs> that's how Eisen feels? But Ifrit still took him in. He agreed they put up with the curse together. It's all a bit hard to fathom. Well, if one thing's for certain, it sounds like Eifried's a very strong man. At least for a base lawless pirate. Yeah, I hate playing the entire franchise of Final Fantasy every December in this huge event called the Final Fantasy Fiesta. You can go to Final Fantasy, or sorry, yeah, FFFiesta.com to see more information about it. But every every December 1st, I, I, I hate playing the entire franchise. FFFiesta.com. Uh, we just actually got done with the 2019 Final Fantasy Fiesta, so... Uh, yeah, Eisen, Waff was part of that. <laughs> can I ask you about that thing Zavid had? It belonged to Eifried, didn't it? I've read much of the Abbey's archives and weaponry, but I've never seen anything like it. He found it when we crossed to the far continent. It's a relic from a long-vanished civilization. He's like me and can't resist a good treasure. But of everything we found, I... that one was his most prized. S sounds complicated, I'm not sure. I can't say. It seemed like a weapon. But Eifried wouldn't let anyone touch it. He went off and tested it on his own, then came back all. This sounds like a Google question to me. I don't know. Leave the next time we got into a fight. Then it's definitely some sort of ancient combat device. <laughs> but why is Zavid looking for Eifried? To apologize for stealing it? He doesn't seem like that much of a gentleman. Did he really steal it? What do you mean? It's just my feeling, but. Zavid doesn't seem like the type of Moloch to steal something so precious. He said he just picked it up. Perhaps he's trying to return it. Perhaps. Perhaps. Man, hearing about hearing about Daikon playing uh, freaking Yakuza Seven and so much. I'm I'm so oh, I'm so excited for Yakuza right now. I, I, I may have to bump it up in my list because uh, I had it a little not super behind, but man, I'm excited for, for Yakuza games right now. Quest 64, Ephemeral Fantasia, Dragon Quarter, Beyond the Beyond. Yep, those are those are my favorites oh, right there. Me. You nailed it. Why do you guys hate me so much? <laughs> Monk of battery. Devour. I'll cut down anyone. Uh, music. Wow. The game just listen to me on demand. I was just like, music, please. And the game was like, oh, my bad. Sorry, sir. 
Yes, right away. Hmm, where is this Trangy? Trangy Wangy, Trangy Wangy. <laughs> yeah, man. Yasmet. Yeah, the water effects in this game are pretty meh. Oh, that's a path. Hello. Hello, little secret. How are you today? I have yet to find a gold chest. Garnet garish pink shirt. Actually, let's check my masteries. Hey, look. <sighs> wow. I, yeah. Wow. 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 That was good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> kind of want to master these just because... Fine, you can be useless for a little bit of time. Mm. Burning capability. I just want to get these passives that, you know, multiply my damage. But it means I have to equip lesser gear in order to do it. I hate this kind of skill up system. I'm not a fan at all. Where you have to equip garbage gear just so you can learn stuff. It just, I just don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like having to equip bad stuff in order to learn skills. Hmm. wonder if this is accidental right way. Hi. Hi. Let's all come together and be friends. Come on, don't be shy. Yes. You better be ready. There's a lot of them. Lots of friends. Let's all be friends forever. Until you die. Which is now! Still alive? Oh, it's another one, okay. We won, right? Right? Yeah, sure. We've definitely already gone through a dungeon like this with this tile set before. But that was like two months ago. Oh, well, that's... Wow. Rude. Ah, spider! Is that it? Just the two? Here I come! Man, I have to say, mechanically, this game is like by far the best Tales game I've played for the 3D Tales games. It's so much fun to play, and it feels like you have, like you're, you're, the, the things that you do matter, you know? Like you press the buttons, you do the cool combo, and it matters how you do it. The only thing I don't like is like when you run out of soul on like a boss or something, I don't really know how to get more. I thought it was like perfect dodging, but that has proven to be not true so far. I mean, dazing works, but it's kind of RNG. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not looking for answers. Thank you, BG. We do have a Discord where you can uh, spoil all that stuff. And I'll read it after I finish the game. I also kind of like how, uh, you, oh, oh. I like how you can draw a bunch of enemies together to, to make them more powerful and stuff. Yes, yes, scroll and power. I won't run away. Positioning matters, like the things you do, how you manage your soul or whatever it's called, you know, like just a lot of stuff matters and it's not super like obtuse like previous Tales entries where it's just like, here, have 500 different million mechanics and how they operate and the button buttons that you press to execute is kind of random and just like thrown at you all at once and you can't remember a damn thing, you know, it's got a good system, it's good system. It doesn't offer, it doesn't have a lot of this, like, you need a .001 second reaction to block this attack to actually be able to do stuff. It's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. I enjoyed Grace's F at first until the second half of the game came in and started being a jerk. It appears that we're finished here. Oh, that's a dead end. We always go dead end ways. The treasures. Gotta get the treasures. Yeah, cat souls. How many do I have? 101. I needed a, like 145 to open that chest, so going back is not really a viable solution. Or option, rather. Mmm. <laughs> Any other friends who want to come and play? Just you two, that's it. Here I come. I am stunned, apparently. And I'm going to die. I'm holding block! <laughs> I just get stuck I also like how, uh, whatever, like, you do your claw thing, whatever that's called, depending on the enemy that you're targeted on, depends on the element that she uses, so you automatically hit elemental weakness and everything, just takes a lot of the, like, overcomplication away, and you just do your combo, whatever buttons you want to push, that work well with the enemy you're fighting, whatever. It's just a fun play. Nothing, nothing special. I mean, I'm sure there's more, more deep mechanics that I can get involved with, but everything kind of falls before my might, pretty easily. What was it? What was it that was introduced like halfway through Grace's F? Like uh, you go through the major plot turning point of the game, and then you get a new mechanic that kind of just like that on Grace's F. That was that was my biggest gripe with the game. Meh. 
You're pathetic. You're not worth my time. Instant balls. It's exactly it. Yep. Definitely. Instant balls. I need two cat spirits. One, two. Holy crap, it's 940. How did it get so late? Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> I had no idea it was 940. Oh. Uh, well. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun, I suppose. You are gonna ask, but you didn't. Wow. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, combat in this game is just really enjoyable. It's just really enjoyable. A lot of fun. And man, the freaking the um the way she says like devour and all that stuff is just like man, I feel really bad for her throat. You know she tore it apart to get that light out right. I'm still sitting here like it's gonna be done. Well, I can tell you that we're looking for a save point now because uh, it's pretty late. I don't, especially with like our viewer choice nights. I don't like to go too too late because um, you know people that support the channel. They vote for these games. They want to see them, and they know my normal stream time. And if I if I betray that, then they don't get an opportunity to fully see it, and I feel bad about that. So you know, normal streams, my games, my choices. Yeah, whatever. I'll go until I'm tired if, on, on some nights. But for viewer choice, I like to uh, keep it within our, our normal stream schedule just for their for that purpose for that reason. Ooh. I wonder if this was just like a big treasure side dungeon thingy, because... Don't have to worry about timers or sinking anything. Yeah, that's true. That's another good point. This does feel like I just found some cool side dungeon, and that's that. What's that weapon that I got? That was, a uh... Was it his or hers? No. Uh... Ah. Water attack, capability versus undead. Well, he's got a way a well, ways before he learns that, but I could get that one really quick. Let's uh, let's just put that on real quick. Well, I, I wanted to know what weapon type it was. It's a so everybody has there's there's um there's a weapon and then there's like a special item. So for her, it's a sash, satchel, bow, earrings, what ward thingy, necklace, right? And then they have their own unique weapons. But then everything else down here is like either uh, gender-based or universal. So like the rings are all universal, the boots, they're mostly um, universal, but some gender specific and then same with the chest pieces. So I knew it was, I knew it based on the symbol that it was a, a unique one, but I was thinking it was this because yeah, similar look, but yeah. It was more about what symbol it was to pair with what weapon or side item or whatever it was. The dead end. Oh, there's a treasure there. Is this teleport unique to this room? Because I don't remember activating. Oh man, there's so many enemies. Dude, let's bring them all together. Yes, yes, we'll make one super powerful monster group. Boom! Die! 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 Hell's <laughs> that? Oh, it's okay. It looks 
looks like no one is injured. 1,000 experience. As a note, last time I checked, a random standard battle was like 150 or something XP. And uh, the, the groupings that I've done before have been giving me about 700, 500, 700. And that was 1,000. So definitely worth. That was good times. I'm done with you. You don't present any challenge to me. Pathetic. I think I did find some cool little optional dungeon. I'm actually pretty uh, pretty happy with this. That was that was kind of a neat little secret, and it actually had like value to it. It was an actual and entire. I mean, it's possible that I'll have to go here later, and I just kind of went out of sequence. But you know, whatever. The fact that you can even go to it before you're supposed to is still kind of cool. And uh, if I do have to come here again through story, I'll just I'll just walk through it. It's no big deal. Yep, take it easy, Code Kaiser. Have a good one, man. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I like that. It's possible that, you know, I'll go there later, though, to sneak it. In fact, in fact... I might have even gotten a cutscene just by going here and the game's like, hey, you're not supposed to go here. Let's find another way in or something. Or this was the right way all along. I don't know. Gosh, what does this track remind me of? Oh, Xenoblade. Reminds me of one of the overworld uh, themes a little bit. Well, though, part of it does, but not the entire thing. This, I mean, as much as I, I, I think the, the track is okay, it doesn't hold a candle to Xenoblade uh, OST, or at least the world themes, anyway. Star Ocean? Well, that's because it's Sakuraba, but yeah. I mean, Sakuraba is, like, you can tell it's Sakuraba right away. I turn on the game and I was like, ah, it's Sakuraba, I see, you know? Like, Sakuraba is very, 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 like, you know his sound right away. Guar Plains, yeah. Definitely. Oh, hello. That's another thing we can do. We'll come back. I don't think I don't think that's the right way. Wait, this looks familiar. I've been here. I swear I've been here before. Is there not a treasure chest here? Yeah, see? This is like early in the game. It was a save point, but I, in my head, I gotta like, I gotta look around and cover the map or else like I get all freaking weirded out like I forgot something or I need to do something. So I'm just kind of doing a cover, like a, a, a Sweep of the map real quick, real quick, and then I'll I'll be good to save it. This doesn't even feel like the right way. I might have just gone in the completely wrong direction. Who knows? I've had rum, so. All right. 